Alright, so I have everything recording at 1080p, 30 frames per second. It's kind of crazy. Super, super big. I'm gonna try to walk around with this. They're not all pointing at me, but that's alright. Hero, Galaxy S6, T4i, Kodak Pex Pro SL10, and we got the YI 4K. So this is super heavy, like really heavy, and I'm just gonna go downstairs. Let's take this to get the mail. I don't actually know like what what's in few, so just kind of. Kind of winging it. So I'm kind of just here to compare what 1080p looks. 1080p at 30 frames per second looks like on all these different things, and why they're why they should be the same, why they shouldn't be. So I guess that's kind of all I'm going for here. There was no mail. Heading back upstairs. Still very heavy. Purpose of this video is just to compare all the cameras that I have with each other. Although it's like comparing apples and oranges and bananas, grapes, and pears, it's still kind of going to show like equipment that I have and kind of what I like about each of them. So right now I'm recording with the Canon T4i and what I like about this is it's DSLR so I have interchangeable lenses. Right now I'm recording with a 10 to 18 millimeter wide angle so I can just get everything in here. And on top I have a Rode VidMic Pro. So it kind of gives me the best image quality with the best sound and it has a flip out screen so I can see what I'm doing. and I think it's the best, it's probably my highest quality camera that I'm working with, and it's actually the main thing that I use, so, gets two thumbs up for me. So here I'm recording with the Kodak Pix Pro SL10, and honestly, I don't know why I bought this, I bought it because it was 60 bucks, and I was like, oh, it seems like a great deal, and to be honest, the quality is a lot worse than what I can shoot with just my phone, and this is supposed to enhance the phone, so kind of a waste of money, but it's kind of neat, the novelty, I can show my friends like, yo, look at this, I can connect with my phone, and then they just think it's the coolest thing ever, so for people that don't really care about the quality, they're like, oh, this is kind of like a novelty item, in, in like a niche area, so I honestly rarely find myself in a situation where I'm like, oh, I'll pull this out, because I either can just take a picture on my phone, or I'll have my Canon with me, or honestly any other camera, so I just don't ever need this. And it's kind of awkward. It's just like round, it's like a lens. But it's just honestly not that great. Thumbs down. Alright, so this is the YI 4K Action Cam. I bought it because it's a cheap alternative to a GoPro Hero 4 or the Hero 5 because it has a screen. But it's about 200 bucks, which is about half the price of the GoPro, and I'm liking it a lot. Looks nice. Looks about the same, so it's like, oh, is that a GoPro? It's basically a GoPro. So it's got 4K, and it has a touchscreen, and it's small and light. And one thing I like about it a lot, I don't know about the GoPro has this, but I can charge it with a micro USB, and everything I have is micro USB, so it's just chargeable with everything, and then I like it. So. Right now I'm recording without the waterproof housing on because it actually has quarter 20 threaded bottom so that's a plus. No the GoPro doesn't have that and I can use this for outdoor things where I know I can just put the case on and know that I don't have to worry about the camera getting wet like my Canon. However I do, the obvious problem is Right now, I'm sure the sound is okay, but not as good as with an external mic on the on the DSLR. 
and especially the sound within the case obviously muffled a lot so I'd give this I like this camera a lot but it's not the name brand GoPro so it is what it is I still like it a lot though this is the Samsung Galaxy S6 which has pretty good quality comparable to other phones in the market and actually better than the Kodak doesn't make any sense because that's supposed to make it better but that's the this is good as I always have it on me so I can just like oh let's take a picture or video or something like that and it's always in my pocket and fits in my pocket as opposed to the Kodak which doesn't and it has it shoots in, it can shoot in 4K which I didn't realize shooting in 1080p right now but I think it's pretty good overall as a phone maybe not the best phone I've had some problems with it that's really not the point of this so quality wise I think it's it's up there it's probably a little better than the GoPro and I I'd, I'd say it's pretty good now this is the GoPro Hero HD one of the lower quality cameras I have but it's a GoPro nonetheless it was a gift from a very good friend of mine and it was kind of my first GoPro so I kind of used it to get started with the GoPro thing so not it's a it's a good camera it's definitely high quality you can tell by the the build quality that it's a strong camera however right now it's inside the waterproof housing and you probably can't hear me too well not really sure and I don't know what I'm recording I don't have a screen and it doesn't have Bluetooth so I can't connect it to my phone to see what I'm recording and it only records up to 1080p in th at 30 frames per second as opposed to the YI which records 4k and I use this when I want to when I, when I when it's like a a rougher situation so say I wanted to strap it to the bottom of my skateboard and ride down the street if I fall this will hit the ground so I don't have to worry about damaging my expensive go my expensive uh, Y 4k and I mean it's just kind of nice so I can set up two ca two GoPros at the same time and have them record simultaneously. The quality won't be the same, but I think it'll still get the same idea. And how I just set up with the it's in the waterproof housing, and it's just got a tripod mount. It's a mount on a tripod. However, I did kind of sneak away with um, I had a cell phone mount, and I just kind of squat. Uh, squeeze it in there and it kind of worked so without the housing because it doesn't have the quarter 20 uh, threaded thing in the bottom so I think that could be a, a possible option or rig something up so that I don't have to use that and just use it with the quarter 20 without the housing because I don't know I don't take it underwater so why do I need the waterproof housing so this camera quality is not so great but durability of the camera Two thumbs up. So for a small disclaimer at the end of this video, I mean, these are my non-professional, 100% subjective opinions towards these products, and I use them how I do, and that's all I need to say. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, comment, and all that jazz. Thanks.